probably been some moments of great joy in your life this year, but maybe also some of the greatest sadness that you've ever known this year. Whether you've lost somebody or, and that doesn't mean somebody died, but you've lost some friends. It's a big topic, you know? I just wanted to take a minute to just acknowledge like deep loss and mourning. I feel like um, so much of this year has been tied up in the media wanting us to just sort of forget each other's humanity. And, um, and then we do forget each other's humanity and we're mean to one another or we're attacked by somebody or, you know, just all the things, right? You know, I sort of stand pretty neutral to many things. Um, I'll sort of tell people that the most powerful card that I have is this voter registration card that says no political affiliation because I see so many inherently flawed things on both sides that I just can't, I can't walk down one side or the other. I can definitely straddle the line on some very many things, but you know, at the end of the day, we're all humans, right? Many of us are mothers, are fathers, sisters, daughters. And the loss that we've had this year is profound. And it's more than just a job or how we spend our, our fun time or um, you know, our loss of liberties, being able to do things, or again, loss of life, or loss of feeling whole, or loss of being allowed to do and feel what we feel are things that are integral and important to us. There's a lot of fear this year. Um, fear of what will happen, fear of um, what the next step is, fear of what's coming around the bend, fear, so many things in fear, right? Fear just so separates us from that God-realized centered self, that's that space of, um, of knowing that we are, um, that we are cared for, and that we are loved, and that we are inherently worthy of good things. I know this year has really, um, really worked on many of us as we mourn and as we fight and as we're angry and, you know, all like really appropriate emotions, appropriate emotions. Sometimes we're not very kind in how we express those appropriate emotions, right? Um, so I just want you to take some time to reflect. You know, as this year is drawing to a close, and um, you know, while there have been definitely some incredibly sad and mournful moments, there have also been some moments of great joy, some moments of great satisfaction, um, many moments where I will remember this year and it won't have anything to do with the medical things that are going on in the news or the electoral things that are going on in the news, many things that have nothing to do with that. So I'm asking you as you're sorting through your own mourning and loss, to acknowledge it. it feels deep it feels deep there are some things that um you know i think about one of the first friendships that i lost in all of this and she said i can't believe i can't believe that, that you would put such a a um a, an importance on that and this one thing that i put importance on and and I still hear those words today. That was months ago. And I, I think about those words and I go, hmm. You know, it is not for us to judge our neighbor. It is not for us to judge 
what our friend or somebody that we thought was our friend on the internet says or does or thinks is important to them. Because what is important to us is really like between us and God. It doesn't have anything to do with us and the other person. There are many things, many things that I am sure if you told me about yourself, I would think, hmm, well, that's kind of silly and vice versa. Many things that if I told you about them, you would think, oh my goodness, she's crazy train. But you know, it's okay, right? Because we're human beings and we're on this like very, we're like humans that are on this journey and we forget and we lose sight of the fact that this is not the end. This is not the return space. This is the learning space. This is school. This is, these are lessons. You know, and I've had like many um, ponderings over the last eight months or so. You know, I had a stroke um, six and a half years ago. And one of the things that that stroke taught me was that I needed to be ready to meet my maker all the time, all the time. And I know that's a frightening, frightening prospect for many of you. Frightening prospect. But I'm going to tell you something that will set you free is if you can say, now I lay me down to sleep. If this is it, my soul to keep. And be okay with it. Be okay with it. Because this is just the learning space. We are in school. This is a space to learn and return. So when we return, what will we report? What will we report? Will we report that, you know, we got in a Facebook fight with somebody that didn't agree with us? Will we report that we shamed somebody at the store? Will we report that um, we voted for all the right candidates? Will we report that we said all the right things and had all the right friends? Will we report that we were human? Will we report that we screwed up? Will we report that we learned that, you know, some days we did great and some days truly sucked? Will we report that, um, you know, we tried our best to be the best parent we could be? Will we report that, well, we, we judged everybody else. We did better than our neighbor. That's this whole space of, well, at least I'm not doing that. At least I'm not doing that. Drives me bonkers as a mom to hear one of my children go, well, at least I didn't do what he did. I go, it does not matter what he did. What matters is what you did. What matters is how you hold yourself and how you carry yourself. It doesn't matter what your brother did or your sister did or your neighbor did or the kid down the street did or the kid in your Zoom today did. What matters is you and how you presented yourself today. How did you show up? How did you show up? So I guess as I'm, as I'm coming to a close in this, I just, I want to acknowledge loss and mourning and tell, tell you that I get it. I get it. I also, I keep hearing people say, oh, I can't wait for this year to be over. And guess what? Chickadee. <laughs> Come January 1, still going to be the same old you. Same stuff going on in the world. Same struggles, same challenges. Waiting for this year to be over rather than reveling in what you have and enjoying the space and mourning for what needs to be more truly mourning for it and then releasing it. Releasing it is such amazing. It's so amazing when you can release it, right? You mourn for it. You held it dear. You loved it. And now let it go. Let go. You don't have to hold it anymore. You don't have to be in that space of hanging on to it constantly. You don't have to be in the space of needing it. It doesn't, it doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve you. Let it go. Let it go. Be thankful for the experience. I love one of our coaches says, you either get the result you want or the lesson you needed. But think about being thankful and what you are thankful for. Think about all the lessons you learned from this year. You know, also the results that you got from the things that you 
sought out to do. Look at those winds. The winds are amazing. I look at ours this year and it makes me smile. Some of them financial, some of them, you know, we left California, something I never thought I would do. So when I talk about mourning and deep loss, it sounds really silly to some, but I never thought I would leave the ocean. Never thought I would. It was hard. It was hard. There were tears. And we left friends that we love. Some of you watching, love you and miss you. But we also came to a space that, um, to, to do a, a, a work that we couldn't have done where we were. And if I hadn't made that first step and we hadn't been on the same page and decided to go together and do this next thing, we would never be where we are now. This is a pretty glorious place to be, even amid all this BS and craziness that's going on in the world. So as I close, much love to you. I see you, I see you struggling. I also see you persevering. I am so glad that you're on this journey and I hope you take the time to breathe out and know that you are loved and it is okay.